it? Yeah, that's fine. Right, before I do any singing, I'm going to dispel a few myths. I first met Dave Hart here in Christchurch in 1965. I first came into the folk scene in 1964 through the University Folk Music Club. And on the Sunday night sessions uh, from 1965 onwards, Dave was part of the scene. And we've known each other ever since. We both share a similar sense of humour. We were very much into Spike Milligan and The Goon Show. And uh, anybody who ever read any emails that between Dave and I would have had a we found them hilarious, because I did. And, um, however, to cut a long story short, 1967 I opened the folk centre here in Christchurch and I had a few helpers putting the premises together. Christine Smith, Dave Hart and my brother Mike. And uh, we did a lot of carpentry work along with help from my father, but Dave was part of the scene then. And uh, when we opened the folk centre in 67, Dave built a bush base his first bush base, I think, and it remained on the stage at the folk club for years and uh, for anybody to use. And when the, the time came for my first album, uh, Dave played bush bass and harmonica on some tracks on my first album in 1970. This is still here in Christchurch before he went to Wellington. So he came from Christchurch first. He went to Boys High School here. And, uh, then I formed the Canterbury Crutchings Bush and Katie Band in 1972, and I played Bush bass in the band. And I got some pointers from Dave before I went on stage with the Bush bass. He showed me how to get the notes. Because most people just bang a Bush bass and hope for the best. But Dave knew exactly how you got the notes, and he showed me how to do it. And I ended up in 1981 at the Australian National Folk Festival, and Mike can vouch for this because he was there. I had all these bush band musicians coming up to me and say, would you come and play bush bass for us? I said, well, there's plenty of people who can play bush bass. He says, oh, no, but nobody else can get the notes. You can. And that's all down to Dave. And uh, one final memory I share with you is uh, a group that Reed Hudson, Dave and myself formed and a couple of folk festivals to do a bit, a bit of fun on stage, and we went on stage calling ourselves Rotunda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sing you a couple of songs from my first ever album, which Dave helped put together. In fact, he played harmonica on both these tracks. So um, I'm gonna start off with a little song called Down a Country Road. Oh, 
perfect blow But just half a sheep between us Down the country road I know Now the rouseabouts were running From the table and Pieces that the class are bend and stall. All the blokes who work the whole press, how they made the levers go. As the bales were sung and branded down a country road. was in west and the vivid flash of evening stained that far off mountain's breath we'd share a smoke and bottle while we watch the shadows grow as they lengthened into darkness down the country road Chances lost have left their mark on me. Still, I'd like again to wander where the sunsets come and go. In old Otago Central, down a country road. Well, I've already did. Uh, thank you very much, Tony, for the loan of your, your six strings, which is most unusual for me, playing the six strings on stage. And uh, I'm singing this song here, which was also on the, the album. Dave didn't play on the original take of this, and uh, since we've re-digitised this first album and it's about to come out on CD, Dave came back into the studio with me and uh, added some instrumentation to this one as well. And it's a little song talks about the Otago Gold Rush um, and really the adage is that nobody knows you when you're down and out and the moment you come into money everybody wants to be your long lost friend. This little song called To A Peg Of Gold. It was in the year of 62 was near as I can guess When I left me dear old hometown in trouble and distress Family didn't want me, I was left out in the cold Until I started searching for the two a peck of gold The day I left to leave him, I could not help but cry Not a single person came to say to me goodbye So I said if I'd be journey, and soon I'd to be home the hills that we covered with the two a peck of gold. I looked the field over and then made up my mind to stake a claim on blue spur to see what I could find. I scraped and panned and cradled all through the bitter cold and quickly made me fortune with the two a peck of gold. 